Hey friends, tonight I am hanging out at Bush Gardens. It's the media night for their Christmas town, and I'm so excited. We are gonna try some Christmas themed beverages and snacks, and also look at pretty lights and Christmas trees, and then we are gonna top off the night with our first fireworks show, and it's a Christmas fireworks show. So, let's go do this. This place is gonna look so beautiful at night. Oh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. There is also going to be a couple of different holiday themed shows tonight. I'm like overall just so excited for everything that's going to happen here because I've never been down here for the holidays. I came for Halloween and now I'm coming back for Christmas time and uh, so far I'm loving it. Right here is Christmas Town Village and right through those gates, it doesn't open till 4 o'clock, they're going to have a whole bunch of pretty lights, themed food and drinks and some amazing holiday entertainment like I spoke of before. I'm just so excited to get in there. A nice Christmas on ice show that's going to have three different showings throughout the night and we're definitely going to catch one of them. And take a look at that gigantic Santa. They're actually doing a meet and greet with Santa. Well, not that one, the actual size Santa. Right here at the Santa's Merry Meet and Greet at the Coke Canopy. Oh, I like how that just all came together. Santa's Merry Meet and Greet at the Coke Canopy. <laughs> Christmas Town has 16 different booths with different types of food and beverages, all with a holiday twist to them. And you can actually buy a lanyard like you seen me wearing earlier, where you can try a sample of all of them. Because this is a media event, Bush Gardens actually supplied me with a lanyard to actually try all this stuff, but I'll give you a rundown of the prices. It looks like for a five item lanyard, it's $34.99. And then past members actually get an extra two punches and they've got some amazing things. And I can't wait to try them all. Pumpkin spice loaf. See, there's a lot of good stuff. Another really cool thing that they're actually offering this year on top of the sample lanyards are these actual Christmas town mugs because they have a whole bunch of different hot beverages that you can actually make it a little jolly and add uh, Baileys or peppermint schnapps or Kahlua. And if you buy especially hot cocoa or eggnog and you use this mug, you get refills for only $2.99, which is amazing. And I think that's what I'm gonna do now and start off with my first booth at the cookies and cocoa stand. The specialty hot chocolate is $8.99. We already have the mug and guess what? We're making it jolly. Oh, we are making it jolly. That's the way to start the night. Look at that. I might as well get the sweetness overload in now. So along with our hot cocoa, we're gonna need something to snack on like a little pastry or dessert. So then the second one, they have winter sweets, churro bites, and mini apple or cherry tarts. I might want to get a cherry or an apple tart. They look fantastic, don't they? Oh yeah, I like it. Oh, but those look so festive. Oh boy. If anybody ever asks if you want whipped cream on that, I don't think there's a reason to say no ever. So I decided to go with the cherry tart and she asked, hey, do you want whipped cream on this? And I said, well, absolutely I do. Look at how delicious this looks. Oh boy, this looks so phenomenal. And I have to say, the hot cocoa is on point. I got the peppermint snops in it and now I'm ready to go with this. If you had to choose between the cherry tart and the churros, which one would you get? I mean, I like churros, but this just looked so good. So we're going to find out. I feel like I made the right choice here, folks. That is so amazing. And the whipped cream cools it down a little bit because it is an actual hot dish. That is superb. I absolutely house that cherry tart. And number three stop is the Claws Baked Goods. But I think because we're gonna be eating so much sweets, maybe we should like kind of make like a, a little bit of like a ro uh, rotation. So I'm gonna skip this one and actually get something like an, a food item. But these do look pretty delicious. Look, that's the brownie and then these are the donuts. So festive looking. And I think I found the perfect item. Oh, and this is one of my favorite Christmas songs. Winter Waffle and Bites. And look at that. They have bison beef sliders, bacon onion jam, vintage cheddar, and mayonnaise and pickles. Oh, they also have beer cheese soup. 
Wow, this is some good stuff, but this is what I need. I am very torn between the chicken waffles and the beef basin sliders. Don't know which one I'm gonna go with. Oh wow, that's super fancy. They're actually making the waffles like right now. Oh man. I had to go with the bison beef slider. Look at that with the onion jam. I did not get the actual cheddar cheese on it, but this looks so amazing. This is definitely gonna be one of those videos where we eat lots of food, and I'm excited to try this one. Might be a little messy though, hold on here. I don't know what to say. That is so amazing. And I don't know if it's the, the bacon onion jam or if it's the bison, but wow, just the combination, including the bun, it's perfection. The bison beef slider is going to be very hard to top. I absolutely loved it. But you can see they have another stand here that has a harvest crystal slider, which is turkey and prosciutto and cranberry jam. But they also have a winter wonderland hot toddy. Apple cider with Jack Daniels Tennessee honey whiskey and chai tea. That sounds pretty good, but we're going to actually get back into our rotation of things. And I guess the rotation is going to be drink sweet food drink sweet food drink sweet food i like it and that is why we are at the holiday cheer stand because they have a yingling's hershey's chocolate porter peanut butter cup and then also a yingling flight how amazing is that so basically you get the hershey's yingling well the beer itself and then they add a shot of peanut butter whiskey dare i Dare I? I? I do, I do. This is such a crazy little invention. A Hershey's chocolate beer with a shot of peanut butter whiskey. I don't know what to expect. Oh my lord. Why is that so good? It's got such a delicious, delicious taste. I mean, if you were like planning a night of drinking beer, I don't think you can definitely house this for a consecutive like two times, but wow, this is definitely something you gotta try. I feel like that was a little bit of a conundrum because, you know, we spoke about this rotation, which who am I kidding? Eventually the rotation is just gonna get thrown right out the window, but we were supposed to go drink, sweet desserts and then actual food item and we just had a dessert beer so i don't even know where we're at now it's starting to get a little dark out so we're seeing some of the lights turn on and being a little bit more merry and bright but since it's gonna get maybe a rainstorm later i think we're gonna head on over and see if we can catch the ice skating show because i feel like if it rains that's gonna get canceled but can we not just appreciate how majestic these reindeers look? Especially because I'm a reindeer today, I'm Rudolph. But later on, I might actually change the Frosty. Just saying. Look it, it's like they're posing for like a magazine cover. As we are waiting for the show to start, a nice little lady came up to me and she was like, I like your Christmas bag. And I was like, oh, that's cool. She's like, do you know where you got it from? And uh, I was like, they gave it to me up front because I'm here on like a media event. And uh, she was like, oh, I haven't seen those before. So I offered to give her the bag. And uh, she was like, no, that's okay. But then I offered to give her my extra mug and she was so happy. So I gave it to her, look at her. She's holding it right over there. It's so cute. <laughs> well, what am I gonna do with two mugs? Oh, and I met up with my buddy Jay, hey guys. Tampa Jay, and he got the actual Crisco slider. That looks yeah. fantastic. It's like Thanksgiving on a bun. Look at that. With some, with some pickles. Yeah, since we're with pickles and Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh. I empty everything out of the bag so she can have it. Here, honey, I emptied everything out if you want that bag. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I emptied, I had it all. Well, my mistake. I guess the show doesn't start for another 50 minutes. So uh, we're gonna just go about, maybe get some more food. It is getting so beautiful out. Oh, 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 oh yes, this is great. <laughs> wow. I came upon another really cool stand and it's called Jack Frosty Cocktails but I like to play on words because all of the drinks have Jack Daniels inside of it so Jack Frosty Cocktails you know pretty fancy. A frozen Jack Daniels Fireball Whiskey Granny Apple and then they also have a frozen Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey S'mores. I'm telling you 
<laughs> I don't know what to do with all these fancy, like, unique cocktails and beers. This is good stuff. And we actually made our entourage a little bit bigger because Jackie is now here. And we're going to get the same drink because I think the Fireball Granny Apple sounds pretty interesting, right? Yeah, it really does. Yeah, like a little cinnamon whiskey a little, with a little apple. Apple, yeah, like apple a cinnamon. All comes together. That's the way. <laughs> oh, but there's a little, like the drink, but there's a little bit also, of cocktail making yeah. here. And I've seen some of the other ones. They also have all sorts of ingredients that are added in when you purchase them. They're putting oh bush garden. Yeah, but the only one does. Oh wow. Look at the special one. She is fantastic. Look at this. Alright, so if you look out and get Monet, then you're gonna get the BG. You're gonna get the BG. Oh, we out. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this seriously looks so good, doesn't it? Look at the layer of caramel inside of it. Oh, I'm excited to try this. Cheers to Christmas Town! Cheers, yeah. I was trying not to pour mine in New York. Yeah. It's much bigger. Oh, that is delicious. Wow, you hit the green apple and then the... Like, you get like a, an apple and then the caramel and that's when the cinnamon kicks in. I like this a lot. It looks like we got a full show for the ice skating. I'm so excited. This looks like a very big crowd bringer. was an amazing amazing show i absolutely loved it the music the lights and just the ice skaters they were doing some pretty crazy stunts i highly suggest you get here early the seats filled up so quick and we got here like i would say 20 minutes before the show and we still got like the bare minimum seats like we had to like scrounge around to find them so if you want to see a good show get here early definitely experience it i would do one of the first ones early in the night but very good bravo to you bravo to them now that we knocked out one of the shows already i think we're going to move along to some of the booths that are on the outside of the christmas village and it's amazing how many we haven't even touched yet there is so many 16 like i said and they all have some amazing items i definitely need to get myself probably another food item i feel like we totally gone off the path of the rotation i know i talked a big rotation game but it's out the window like i said earlier so we're just gonna get whatever we feel like and lucky number 13 stand has loaded mashed potato bowl this looks pretty amazing chicken and gravy bacon crumbles cheddar cheese and crispy onions they also have impossible chili and a chocolate explosion brownie bake also a cinnamon cranberry mimosa fancy and i decided to go with the mashed potato bowl look at this this is phenomenal guys and they actually make it like right there they just scoop in mashed potatoes chicken and gravy the onions and the bacon bits and the cheese i got no cheese but i also got the cranberry mimosa wow this is good i love mashed potato bowls and this is just so good and i like that like the chicken is like that chicken and gravy mixed you know what i mean and the crispy onions just top it off very good very good stuff i am not a big cranberry fan but this isn't too bad like this is just kind of like light and refreshing but and a big but this mashed potato bowl was better than the bison slider so so far for the night mashed potato bowl is my favorite thing since we just eaten a whole bunch of food i think it's time we go explore some of the christmas lights i'm very excited because this looks pretty 
a very furry Christmas at Bush Gardens. Look at how pretty all of the lights hanging from the trees are. This is so amazing. I absolutely love it over here. And if you guys haven't noticed, I switched into my frosty mask and this fits perfectly. Wow, guys, I love it here. Every time we make a turn around a corner, it just gets better and better. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh-oh, I think we're coming on to something magical ahead. Now do I? This is amazing. I could probably spend all day in there, honestly. It's just so good, it's so amazing. It's gonna be pretty hard to actually top that light tunnel there, but I may have something that might actually top it, maybe. The Holly Jolly Express. Guess what, folks? This will be my first ride here at Bush Gardens, and I'm so excited, I love trains. It also looked like our entourage grew a little bit. We got Promise is channel, and then we got. I'm not Promise. I'm Rudolph. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> she was. I was Rudolph. I just switched. And then we got World of Micah back there. We'll say hi to him in a little bit. A little bit. That's one of those moments where you just flip on your camera at the right time. <laughs> and don't forget, we still got fireworks to do tonight. What in an evening, right? This has been fantastic. Full of holiday cheer, delicious food. I think I'm done with the sweets for the night, though. Honestly, I don't eat a lot of sweets, so what you saw tonight was like me just pushing it to my max, and that was my max. Like three sweets, and I'm out. Look at this train. the jingle bell that's the jingle bell that's the jingle bell rock oh wow there's a sleeping giraffe over there do you see the giraffe -y? i do see the giraffe look at that guys It's so strange seeing all of the different attractions, animals, all on a Christmas Jolly Express. I love it. And from the, this is great. Oh, this is great, guys. I liked it. 
I love it. That was a lot of fun. What'd you guys think? Yeah. I don't know. That train probably beat the lights, but up next, we got the fireworks. I told you, this is like a pretty exciting evening. I'm loving all of the festivities and just all the holiday cheer. And I like how I'm changing color as I walk because there's so many pretty lights in front of me. We've already walked through these lights, but it looks so much cooler on the way back because they're like more separated. Very pretty. And it looks like we're coming back up where we were watching ice skating. And this is where the fireworks are going to be. Look at everyone gathering around. Gathering around Iron Gwazi. Look at this all reverse sitting on the bleachers. I love it. This is where they're shooting them off right here, guys. They're all lined up on the bleachers. Are they really? Pelted. Look at all them. You can see it right here. Like I was getting pelted, pelted. That was absolutely amazing. Oh my lord, what a great job. So much fireworks. Like I was expecting like maybe flares, but they went full on fireworks. And there was ash and they were falling from the sky. So happy I came here tonight. Anywho, I think that's gonna do it for me. Thank you, Bush Gardens, for inviting me out. I really had an amazing time. If you guys are in the area, you should definitely check it out. This is probably one of the better holiday things to do in the area because of so many limitations. But this was phenomenal. Thank you. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. One last look at the Iron Gwazi before we head out. I